So this uh, two-on-two concept is uh, a concept that was proven quite popular with the Gundam Extreme Versus franchise in Japan, uh, but not really well known outside of, of that. Uh, the concept alone is shared. Uh, the gameplay mechanics and such uh, for Rise of Incarnates is quite unique. So you have two people on one team fighting a, another team of two people. Uh, there are uh, fighting game elements such as uh, melee attacks and such, uh, combos, uh, but you also have shooter elements uh, because you have many range attacks and uh, all the characters can do both. Uh, so that's uh, basically what the two-on-two -two is. So although the uh, original concept of two-on-two -two, uh, came from the Gundam in its uh, popular format, uh, the gameplay me mechanics themselves, the engine, uh, the graphics, the character design, world setting, all of that uh, is completely new for this franchise. One important uh, difference from fighting games where you're one-on-one -on -one is that uh, player skill uh, directly affects the outcome. It's very hard to uh, beat a player who's much better than you. But with the two-on-two -two format, uh, if you're paired with a, a very good player, obviously you have a, a good chance of winning. Also, if you're very good at your uh, particular role on that team, uh, then you have a, a chance of betting, uh, beating a team that's better than you. So I guess you can summarize it, and this you hear in arcades uh, quite often is, uh, you know, if you win, it's it's uh, because of me, but uh, if you lose, it's your partner's fault. So it's, uh, I guess that kind of sums it up. So the, the characters themselves, uh, you know, they're all very unique, but I guess you could kind of roughly break them down into categories similar to fighting games where some are more speedy, some more powerful, maybe, maybe a balance of both. Uh, and then there's also the elements of uh, the incarnate abilities. So, uh, whether they transform into this uh, alternate being or whether they summon them to fight along with them uh, are other distinctions and which would affect uh, the gameplay itself. Uh, so these are some of the things that uh, I, I guess the rules are such that you would think of. You know, each of these characters, they can both uh, do melee attacks like a fighting game, but also shooting elements as well. They can do both, all of them and you can switch in between at any time. Uh, obviously some characters uh, are more strong at one than the other and so the chosen combination for your team will kind of dictate the strategy involved and what kind of role that you'll be in. Whether you're up front fighting against your opponents or whether you're helping out your partner from behind by shooting or doing range attacks uh, will kind of determine the role that you play. And uh, that also uh, leads to uh, you know victory as well. Uh, and also there's these elements where uh, you can do combos, like team combos or a tag combo per se. Uh, and this kind of uh, is influenced by what type of character you've each chosen as well. And uh, as far as, you know, how do you win a match? Well, there's a shared life pool that you have with your partner. And uh, so uh, each time that a character is defeated, it depends on what type and how much their life is depleted. But the way you win is to, to deplete your uh, enemy team's life gauge completely. The amount of uh, life gauge overall that you lose depends on the character, but uh, you can still respawn if you still have enough life gauge uh, of the team pool. Uh, I think since it's kind of a new format for the Western audience, it might sound complex, but it really isn't. Once you see it, it's very intuitive and easy to understand. So uh, since the game is your two people against uh, two others, it's a uh, versus an another team. So we were very careful that we didn't want it to be uh, pay to win. So uh, the game is free to play, so what do you pay for? Uh, well, since you're playing against other people, you're going to want to show off your, your character's look and such. So obviously we'll have uh, customization items and, and such. Uh, and also there are elements uh, that you can progress your character, so uh, pay for time. Uh, maybe you'll, you'll, the amount of time it takes to do something uh, can be decreased by that. Uh, and it's definitely not pay to play either because you'll be able to play as much as you want. So uh, since this is a new IP and franchise, uh, there's a lot of characters that people haven't seen and people are probably wondering, you know, why is the city looking like it is and who are these people and why they're doing this. So uh, we have a homepage, uh, riseofincarnates.com which will be portraying this in a web comic that will be available for free. And we'll have the teaser site available on the 22nd. 
uh, so people can go to the site and see the comic and check it out. Also, we'll have more information there uh, later about Alpha and uh, how to participate in that. Uh, we think the Alpha date will probably be sometime uh, maybe the end of May to beginning of June, uh, and the game will be out on uh, Steam.